Analysts like to say that organizations either have a cloud strategy or that they are their next CIO away from having one. Flexagon has grown up with Oracle customers running on-premises applications such as Oracle eBusiness Suite. We have been helping these customers employ effective DevOps strategies for faster, higher quality, and more cost-effective software delivery. These days, we field two types of daily inquiries from Oracle customers. Customers are either looking to move EBS from their own data centers onto Oracle cloud infrastructure, or are moving to Oracle Fusion applications such as ERP and HCM. Flexiploy supports EBS on Oracle cloud infrastructure exactly as it does for on-premise deployments, enabling a seamless transition. Customers moving to Oracle Fusion applications are looking for the same results they received with Oracle eBusiness Suite to energize their shift to SaaS. In this video, we will showcase a Flexiploy solution for managing functional configurations of Oracle Fusion applications. In subsequent videos, we will dive into Flexiploy support for other Oracle Cloud services which are being folded into enterprise solutions. Oracle Fusion applications are comprised of hundreds of configurations used to implement and maintain customer solutions. Since these applications are managed across a series of instances like traditional applications, there's a need to manage the configurations across a software delivery lifecycle. To aid in this process, Oracle provides the Functional Setup Manager, or FSM. FSM enables export of individual setup tasks, fast formulas, flex fields, value sets, and lookups. Within FSM, you can locate the entity and export it to a CSV file. The export runs as an asynchronous background job and can take minutes to complete. Once complete, you can download the file, connect to the target instance, and run the corollary import one at a time. What is missing is the ability to group tasks for export and import across a pipeline of instances. While the tools are in place to aid in the migration, the work required to manage hundreds of tasks across several instances can be a nightmare and severely impede the rate in which you can deliver. Visibility into what configuration changes have been made and to which instances they've been applied to is lost. Using a package-based model and the Functional Setup Manager plugin, Flexdeploy brings DevOps to Oracle Fusion applications. In Flexdeploy, we've created a single project to manage the setup tasks for Oracle HCM. An inventory of the setups is established in the file catalog and are organized by setup tasks, fast formulas, flex fields, lookups, and value sets. We can create tasks in the file catalog by selecting the type, the task code, and optionally a scope. In this case, we've configured the XLE Manage Legal Entity Task Code and a specific legal entity scope. Flex fields, lookups, and value sets have additional capabilities in Flexdeploy which are not available in FSM. With Flexdeploy, you can enter a scope to export specific elements. With FSM, these objects do not expose a scope, which means all sub-elements are migrated as a group. Looking at the GL chart of accounts value set, we've mapped it to the task code and a specific value set which we want to export, in this case, the FD account alias. In this case, we are adding the tasks to the file catalog so that they can be exported during build. Not shown in this video, but another approach is to place the tasks in source control and auto-discover them into the catalog. In either case, the tasks are added to the catalog once and can then be assembled into packages, built, and deployed whenever the configuration changes. Let's look at the HCM125 package. Here, we've added a setup task, a flex field, a value set, a lookup, and a fast formula. We can now build the package and send it to the pipeline for execution. Looking at the build execution logs, we can see that the FSM export operation extracts the tasks from our development instance. Notice that, unlike FSM, we do not have to wait for it to complete and then separately download the objects. Once the build is complete, the artifact is created, versioned, and stored in FlexDeploy's artifact repository. Now, let's go to the release dashboard. Here, we can see the snapshot containing the tasks within our package. Within the execution, we can see that the deployment into the test instance has already completed. In the deployment step detail, we can drill down and see the status of each task in the package. This is a very simple pipeline which incorporates approvals, schedules, and an integration with ServiceNow. As with any pipeline, you can design and create a software delivery lifecycle which meets the requirements of your organization. In the environment history report, we can see the complete history of the tasks deployed across all of our HCM instances. In the environment discrepancy report, 
we can see the configuration differences between test, QA, and production. After the pipeline deploys the snapshot into QA and production, the five tasks in our package will again be in sync. The reports are valuable to gain insight into what changes have been deployed to reconcile an issue or to collect information required for an audit request. In this video, we learned about FlexDeploy's support for Oracle Fusion applications such as ERP and HCM. We discovered how tasks can be inventoried in the file catalog for use within packages. We discussed how FlexDeploy extends the capabilities of FSM by grouping tasks within packages and allowing export of specific elements for flex fields, value sets, and lookups. We reviewed how packages and the tasks within them are delivered across the delivery lifecycle using a pipeline. And finally, we saw how traceability is provided at the task level through execution and within the reports. Thanks for watching.